You're at the hospital. You didn't come home last night, so I got worried. I'm so sorry. I, I, I just meant to close my eyes for a minute. I didn't... Uh... It's okay. No, no, it's not okay. It's not okay. You have enough to deal with without having to worry about me. Well, maybe it'd be better dealing with everything if I could focus on somebody besides myself. Really? Yeah. Like who? Like you. I don't think you're grasping the urgency of the situation. I need this done. Do you understand me? If you can't find Dixie, I will. I'm dealing with a bunch of idiots here. Obviously, I need to get the hell out of here. You're not going anywhere. Angie, how long have you been here? Long enough to know that you're thinking about taking off. No, no, you that's not what I You promise to do everything in your power to restore my sight. Don't you even think about backing out. You are just the sweetest little thing. Let me see that smile again, huh? Let me see that smile. Huh? Hey. Chief, results? Maya is the biological mother. Oh, hi. Hey. I didn't realize you were still here. Well, no, I'm still here. Listen, uh, can I talk to you a second about Lucy? No, did David tell you that? Did David? Did David tell you that Zach was alive? He implied the possibility. and turning all night. Sorry. Hey, Ward. You can't shake what he said to you about Leo, can you? Yeah. But he really didn't say anything. He hinted that Leo might still be alive. It's just David being David. Do you believe him? I know that David is just messing with my head. And I'm not falling for it. Are you sure? Yeah. I mean, it threw me. Bringing up Leo out of the blue. I never expected that David would use his dead brother. Jack! Hey, Good morning. Thanks. Everything okay? Seems, you know. You, you, you speak Spanish now? Well, no, it's actually very badly spoken uh, Portuguese. I'm on my way to Brazil. I have a, a lead on Jane Campbell. The woman who was supposedly impersonating her. Well, no, not supposedly. Get this. The plastic surgeon that worked on Jane Campbell is the very same doctor that worked on Erica after her car accident. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a second. You actually think that Erica's story is for real? That she was kidnapped by some crazy fan who took over her life? <laughs> yes, I do. And I'm going to prove it so I can bring her back home, to me, where she belongs. Well, then I hope you find this, Jane. Thanks. Anything you need? Actually, you've been more than generous. Just allow me to use the Cambius jet, which is uh, fueled and ready to go, as am I. So please wish me luck. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it. 
something I could do to help him. He's been through so much the past few months, and once again, who's right smack dab in the middle of it all? David. You should go, too. Where? To Brazil. Are you trying to get rid of me? Uh, yeah, I am. Look, I'm, I'm in a hurry to leave this hospital. And for good reason. It's like every person in that mother, since I'm stuck in this bed, feels a need to come here and take pot shots at me. Say more urgent than that to me. No, that's it, Angie. You know, I'm just sick and tired of being Pine Valley's piñata. I want to get discharged. And go where? Back to work, obviously. There are a lot of people out there who need me. Is that right? <laughs> you have no idea. There's a lot to be done, Angie, including your treatment. Unfortunately, we can't get underway until I'm 100 percent. Well, I am sick of waiting, David, being strung along. I want to see my child. I understand, and you will. When? Lucy's changing so much every day, and I am missing it. OK, look, if you want to complain, why don't you go to Eric, OK? She's the one who put me here. No, I'm not complaining to anyone. I am telling you how it is. You bail out on me. And you will wish Erica had finished the job. A job opened up down at the station, and I thought you might be perfect. Uh, what kind of job? Oh, it's just entry level, but it could lead to bigger things, you know. Better salary, uh, pension, even a full ride at PVU. I, I don't even know what to say. Say yes. I'm confused. Why would you recommend me? I mean, no offense, but you haven't exactly been enthusiastic about me taking care of Lucy. <laughs> yeah, I apologize for that. I guess I'm just being the silly, overly protective daddy. Yeah, I mean, Mary Poppins could fly in through that window, and I still would give her a tough time. <laughs> so, for this other job, do I need experience or lots of references? Because I, I don't have either. Well, they're just looking for somebody uh, smart with a strong work ethic that's looking to make something of themselves. And you got that all covered. But I'd have to leave Lucy. <sighs> I'm sure she'd understand. Hi, right, Lucy. Thanks, but no. I, it wouldn't be right for me to leave now. Lucy and I are finally starting to bond. Huh? Ever since I got my diagnosis, we have been all about me all the time. It's okay. We need to focus on getting you better. Well, not if it makes you sick. I'm oh, fine. I'm fine. You're exhausted. I'm a doctor. I'm used to it. I am. Well, you haven't slept one night since I found out about the cancer. You barely eat. When you're not working, you're searching the Internet for information on my disease. It's okay. Yeah, it's my job. I'm trying to, you know, take care of you. And I love you for it. But you also need to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sleep a lot better after we, we meet with the oncologist again and we come up with a game plan to fight this thing, okay? Will you just trust me? Please, just trust me. Heart rate and blood pressure are completely normal. Okay, so then what was all of that? The, the heart palpitations and the shortness of breath? Probably just plain old stress, but to be sure, I'm a page Dr. Castillo. No. Chief cardiologist and your doctor? He should be in on this. No, 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 I said no. I don't want to see Griffin. I don't want him to even know I was here. It's too late. 